Ian Desmond, the two-time All-Star of the Colorado Rockies, good enough to join us. Ian, good to see you, man. Happy New Year to you. Tell us about the tour stop on Sunday and some of the things you were doing with the Players Alliance. Yeah, thanks for having me. No, it was a great opportunity to get out there and, uh, you know, meet some of the needs of the community. Uh, you know, the Players Alliance is doing, you know, so much good work in the community with, uh, you know, the supplies for COVID, for feeding people, and for growing the game. Uh, you know, that's pretty much what we're all trying to do at this time. Hey, Ian, it's Harold here. Uh, it was a generational thing, too. You talk about growing the game. Uh, Gary Sheffield was there, yourself. That's two different generations. What did you think about that, uh, with yeah. mixing it up with no, Gary? I mean, it was, there, was a couple, there was a couple major takeaways for me from, from yesterday, and I think, you know, one, first and foremost, was being able to be out there with Gary Sheffield, a player that I grew up watching, um, and talking to him and saying, you know, hey, you know, when I was a kid, this wasn't really around. You know, I didn't have access to my mentors. I didn't have access to the to the other black athletes, uh, and to be able to to see an idol firsthand, you know, in person. And then for me to be able to sit there and shake hands with Gary Sheffield, and then to be able to shake hands with the little kid who's coming up, maybe who looks up to me or looks up to Denard Stan or, you know, some of these other players. Um, you know, that was my first takeaway: is that man, this is this was passed down from, you know, the players that Gary looked up to. Gary passed it down to us. We're passing it down to the next generation. And then the, the next takeaway I thought was really special is that this Players Alliance is only in its first year. You know, this is this is the pilot, really. I know that, um, you know, the people and the, the organization is, is in a great shape. So just to know, like, man, five, ten years down the road, what's this going to turn into and how much impact is going to be made and when we start seeing more numbers, you know, increasing in the major league level and in college and things like that. You know, this is going to be a big part of that, and I'm, I couldn't be more proud to be a part. Well, the Players Alliance is clearly the mission is to grow the game, particularly reaching back to the African-American community to get more players involved. But... This is the first time, Ian, we've got a chance to talk to you since you opted out. And I think the last words we got from you were on your Instagram of how passionate you were to go back home to Sarasota and be able to have an impact. So tell us a little bit about the year going back home and did that mission come to pass for you? Were you able to really get the Little League back going again and things in Sarasota? I mean, it's, it's a work in progress. I think there's a lot of things to be done. I didn't really realize... You know, I think going going all the way back, first first of all, um, you know, I just want to say thank you to everyone for such great support for the decision that I made. You know, that was fantastic. The Rockies, everybody else, um, you know, really no negative feedback from that. So really grateful for that. But beyond that, you know, my wife and I had our, first, our fifth kid, a little girl, Naomi Elizabeth. Um, you know, everything went great there. So that's how the offseason started. Um, and then got to the baseball world and or the, the youth baseball world and just been on a, a journey of discovery and trying to figure out, you know, what exactly and how you make an impact and realizing along the way that, you know, philanthropy is really, really hard. Um, you know, we found some staggering numbers that I mentioned in a video that I recently posted on, on Instagram as well that 74% of professional athletes since 2008 that have started foundations have failed at it. And, you know, athletes are competitive and there's a lot of drive that goes into it. And if, you know, with the support and financial resources that they have, if they can't see it through, you know, there needs to be, a, you know, there's a flaw, you know, in the system. So we first started trying to tackle that. We started diving down the road of fiscal sponsorships and, uh, you know, 501c3s and 501c3 compliances and compliance agencies and all this other stuff that we realized was just going to be way too difficult. And we've been trying to do this in a way where not only does it benefit Sarasota, but we want to create an example or a mechanism that allows other players to take what we're doing and do it in cities where they're at. So we kind of have a formula that we believe in at the moment which is going to be to partner. You know, we want to partner with organizations that are doing good and have proven to be doing good and that people will feel good about supporting. 
So ours here locally is the Boys and Girls Club of Sarasota and DeSoto counties. Uh, they've been, you know, a leader in youth development since 1970. Um, and then we're going to partner with them. We're going to partner and put a program, a baseball program, in that uh, campus that is going to be based off the YBA play program, which is the Nationals Youth Baseball Program, uh, one that I know very well. I mean, I was at the groundbreaking in 2011 and was able to be a part of that growth uh, until my time came to pass in Washington, but, you know, have still stayed involved to some degree since I left, but we really believe in their program and we want to give, you know, the kids of Sarasota something that we really believe in. Wow, man, that's, it's, that's, a, that's awesome. incredible back information, the fact that it's yeah. so much harder than anybody would have ever imagined to, to start these charitable endeavors, even for athletes who have resources. Um, but I want to get back to baseball just for a sec, Ian, because there wasn't a single person that read your very thoughtful Instagram post when you decided to opt out that didn't understand at that point, having learned about your background, why you made that choice. So many reasons and so articulately laid out. Now that you spent the year away, and we hear from a lot of sports figures that spend time away, whether it's because of injury or personal decision, um, did it do anything in terms of your passion for baseball or your perspective on the actual game between the lines? Did you watch a lot of games while you were sitting out the year? I mean, I think as far as baseball goes, I had a great opportunity, which you know, Harold, as you know, and, and all the baseball players watching, you don't, I got, I had the opportunity to do something in baseball this year that I hadn't been able to do since I started playing at 18 years old. And that's to go back to little league, to watch some little league games. I, you know, I was fortunate enough to be an assistant coach for the uh, Raven consultants this year. My, all three of my boys got put on the same team. Uh, you know, I had a great head coach, Tim Haverstick. Tim, congratulations on your first championship, the first year you coached. Uh, so we, we led we led the uh, the the Raven Consultants to a champ, fall championship. Took the kids to the All Star game. Um, you know, so I got to see that youth uh, that youthful love and passion for the game, and um, just to see that you know always sparks something inside of you. Um, but you know, being able to spend that time with my kids and watch them fall in love with the game and continue to fall in love with the game, um, you know, it's just, I'm hopeful for the future, to be honest. Well, Ian, thanks for the time, man. It's so great to, to hear you speak your words instead of reading them and, and getting a chance to really see you. So thank you. I'm glad you're doing the great work out there. We appreciate you taking your time and, and, uh, keep this tour going with the players alliance fantastic so thank you appreciate it thank you guys for continuing to spread the word and being a partner for us Uh, there's alliance is going to do a lot of good 